In this YouTube video, we're going to show you how to make an interactive Christmas budget to keep your festive finances on track. Starting off, I'm going to merge the first two rows from columns A all the way to E. And I'm going to type in Christmas budget. I'm going to make the text bigger to about 25 and I'm going to change the text to make it a bit more Christmassy. And I'm going to change the background color to green and the text to white. Now I'm going to add in some column headings. I'm going to start with budget, then money spent, Christmas countdown, left to buy, and gifts bought. I'm just going to center that text, change the background to green, and make the text white. So now I'm going to add that my budget is 5,000 Rand. And I'm going to leave row five open as well. We'll get back to that later. And then I'm going to leave about 11 rows open for some charts that I'm going to create using my budget. And these charts will give us quick insights into how many gifts still need to be bought and where we are at within our budget. So I've left 11 rows open and I'm going to go to row 17 and I'm going to add some more headings. Now I'm going to paste in my data with the names of the people I need to buy gifts for, the gift ideas, the budget, and the actual price I found the gift at. If you want, you can also add another column which will have the store name or link to the online store where you can buy the gift. So I've pasted my data in. Now I just want to put a border just so that it looks nice. And under bought, I want to put check boxes so that I can check off whether or not I've bought a gift. To do that, we're going to highlight the cells where we want the check boxes to appear. We're going to go to insert and click check box. Now we want cell E4 to tell us how many gifts have been bought. So basically, if I check off one box, one needs to appear in cell E4. So we're going to use a quick function to put that in. It's equals count if, let's select all of our check boxes, comma, true. So right now it's zero because I haven't checked off any boxes, but let's try and check something off. There we go. The number changes. I've checked off three boxes and the number three appears in cell E4. Now in column B, we can put in the amount of money we've spent. So that's going to be a sum function. And then we're going to add up the actual amount of money we've spent. So that's 4,513 Rand. Now the budget in column C is just an estimate of what you think those gifts will cost. So let's add that up and let's see how much we have left on our actual budget. So our estimated gift costs come to about 4,800 Rand. Our actual costs come to 4,513 Rand. So we're doing good. Now let's put in the Christmas countdown. We're going to use two formulas to do this. Minus today. There we go, we've got 40 days left until Christmas. Let's make this bold and make it a little bit bigger so it stands out. And each day this number will change. So tomorrow it will be 39 days until Christmas. Now let's put a calculation on the number of gifts we've got left to buy. So we're going to use the counter function for that. And that's going to count all of the names we have in column A. And we'll say minus whatever is in cell E4. Because that's where the amount of gifts we've bought will appear. Great, so we've got 12 gifts left to buy and we've bought three. And that checks out because we have 15 people on the list. Now, no budget is really complete without a few charts. So let's insert those. I'm going to select these cells and merge and center them so that the background is white. And now I'm going to create a bar chart for our budget versus the money we've spent. So I'm selecting my data, I'm going to insert, and I'm clicking on the bar chart. Now, I only want my 5,000 Rand versus my 4,513 Rand. So I'm going to delete the other series of data. I'm going to delete the chart title and the legend. I'm going to make it a bit smaller so that it fits nicely. 
So I see that my data doesn't start at zero. So I'm going to select my data on the Y axis, change the minimum amount to zero and change the maximum to 5,000. Now I'm going to change the colors of my bars as well, just so that they suit the other colors I've used in my budget. I'm going to make the budget red and the money spent green. Now I want to create a pie chart to visualize the gifts I have left to buy versus the gifts I've already bought. So let's select that data, go to insert pie chart. I'm just going to delete the title. And again, I'm going to change my colors. So the gifts bought should be green and the gifts I've got left to buy should be red. And I'm going to move this in here. And here we go. Now I've got two charts that will change based on what I change in the spreadsheet. So if I tick off more gifts, my pie chart will change. And if my actual budget changes, for example, if I delete some data, my bars will change too. If you like the way this Christmas budget looks and you'd like to download a template, there will be a link in the caption below. Thanks for watching.